So <clears throat> this question says, in the XY plane, exactly how many X intercepts does the graph of F of X equals X times X minus four squared times X minus five to the third have? Okay, so a couple of things. Um, the easiest way to solve this is actually to graph it in your graphing calculator. However, um, yeah, I think you know that's going to be that's going to definitely be the easiest way to do that. So without being able to show you the graphing calculator, I'm going to do it in a different way. So anytime I see x intercept, anytime you see x intercept, what you should be thinking is y equals zero. Now we don't have y here; we have f of x, but we should know also that y and f of x are the same thing. So that means for x intercept f of x is equal to zero, which means I can take this equation, f of x equals x parentheses x minus four squared parentheses x minus five to the third power and rewrite it as zero equals x, x minus four squared, x minus five cubed. So what am I doing? I am looking for x values that make this statement true. All right, so let's start with this x. If this x right here was zero, right, that would mean that I'm multiplying everything else in this expression by zero, which makes this statement then become true, right? It would all be equal to zero. So there's going to be one x-intercept. It's going to go through the origin. What else? How about this x right here? Well, if this x were four, right, if that were a positive four, then within these parentheses, and I'll use a different color, within these parentheses here, I'd have four minus four, which is zero. Zero squared is still zero. And it wouldn't matter that this is four here and this is four here, because that zero in there would make the entire product equal to zero. So there is a, another x-intercept. And then lastly, how about this x here? Well, if that x were a five, Right, then the same thing we saw with the four. If that were a five, then that would make the content or the value of the inside of the parentheses there, it would make it equal to zero. And zero to the third power is still zero. And again, the product of the entire thing here would be zero. So there is a third x intercept. So this is a little bit of a tricky question because there's a there's a little bit more to it when it comes to these exponents here, but when it says exactly how many x-intercepts, um, I believe that the answer is going to be three, right? There's going to be an x-intercept at zero. There's going to be an x-intercept at four. And there's going to be an x-intercept at five. That's what you will see on the graph, right? So that answer there will be choice B.